And welcome back to the I Can't Even Be Bothered here at Smackdown 2, you should know this by now. Joined by Scarecrow and Noopie, we're carrying on through... I'm not sure at the moment, or we're currently in August. So, there you go. So SummerSlam right around the corner, apparently. Summer Slam! The Slam of Summer! Do you remember when they kept doing... Uh, who was it was doing an interview and kept calling it fucking Summerfest a couple of years back? Was that even Maria or someone? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> what was it? A couple of years ago. It was ago, one of their hosts. Uh, I can't it was remember. one of their hosts. Oh, was it a host? <laughs> they kept calling SummerSlam Summerfest. I remember Summer what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta look up and see which host that was. I can't remember who it was. This would have been years ago, but it was funny just because they constantly kept doing it as well. And they keep with getting corrected, and they kept doing it. It's like, no, it's not a suggestion. It is called SummerSlam. Summerfest. SummerSlamfest? Oh, it was Jeremy Piven. I, I name doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. Me neither. He's a douchebag. <laughs> okay, then. Oh. Oh, we all know he's a douchebag now. <laughs> he's a douchebag. Fair enough. And apparently, I'm getting quite a bit of action here tonight. On Raw. Are you? Yeah. He's even got a cum stain on his tights. It's, it's Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is heading for the ring. Okay, here's my problem. <laughs> I don't even Excuse remember. Me. Bless you. I don't even remember who and fuck Journey Kurt Angel. Angel. <laughs> exactly, Kirk Angel. Kirk that guy. Angel. Kirk Angel. <laughs> That's what he called him. And yeah. just like, Kenny Shamrock. I remember. I remember that shit. Obviously, his, uh, his name calling was a little bit uh, crap, to be honest. Kirk really Angel. Did. Kirk Angel. I remember him saying that in uh, freaking King of the Ring. Although, not in terms of like, Name calling stuff, nothing will ever beat the um, Stephanie McMahon jokes from Jericho. Fantastic oh, stuff. Honestly. Uh, the Rock got him on a couple of them. I, oh, I don't know. I mean, the whole two dollar <laughs> slot thing was funny from Rocky, but I still slot, think slot, I still think slot, Jericho slot, was the funniest slot, when it came to making fun of Stephanie. Well, here's my thing, though. Jericho never stopped. At least The Rock had jokes. Jericho had one good joke that carried him. After a while, it just got old. Mm. Jericho just came attacking every time. Yeah, for some reason they had the two of them just have a fight, I guess. I don't really fucking know. I, it's not who my actual match is with tonight. I've, apparently, I think I have the main event again. I'm not sure. Oh, no, maybe match six. I'm not. Certainly, we'll have to see in a sec. Hmm. But, uh, oh, fucking hell, I'm really struggling tonight to think properly. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, my brain is like in set, is like in first gear tonight. I can't form coherent sentences without actually just losing track of what I'm thinking of. Like, it's weird. 56, it's like a 56k modems faster than his brain right now. Yep. I, I agree to that, actually. Not surprising. Oh, I um, assume that... Did I tell you, Scarecrow, that I'd chosen my pick on SLPH, by the way? No, I didn't even know you got a pick. I, I won the Crash 2 race. The uh, Part 1 of that went up today. I didn't even know. Um, but uh, I uh, picked FF7. <laughs> <laughs> Why, dog? First, it, it's, it's going to be from... Game start up until the uh, uh, what I like to call escape Midgard, you know, after the roller ball boss or whatever it's called, roller Roda boss or something. Oh, the okay. Thing, the, so thing after, the thing after the thing after the bike section, essentially. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII: Escape from Midgard. Go. Yeah, <laughs> I've allowed God mode and no encounters though, because I can. It can be. It could probably be done with just God mode on in less than two and a half hours, but to make certain, doing both, I just want to do that. So I can see gold have no fucking idea what to do. If you don't suck, you won't need a god code. It's not- it's time limit, dude. It, it, it's 
thing it, it even speedrunners can only just do it in uh two hours so <laughs> and they manipulate the rng and all that exactly they, they can only just about do it in two hours on average so for us who are not uh, speedrunners at the game, it's probably not a good idea to go in with anything but a couple cheats. But here's the thing, the game is basically how well do you know where to go from A to B. I mean, I would be a first round candidate, I ain't even touched the game in about a decade, I still remember at least the first half. Like up, said, until I, hmm? <laughs> up until this, up until this too, then it was Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm just looking forward to it so I can watch Gold struggle. He struggles enough, but keep piling that shit on there, guys. Struggles enough, like I, a Sonic Mania disaster, Final Fantasy Randomizer, <laughs> that was a disaster. Oh, like, come on. I just wait for Paris to hit him with Adventure Island three. That, Jesus, that, I don't even want to get started. He's been on threatening that. everybody with that for years. I don't actually think he's gonna go through with it. It's not a threat anymore. Me, me, myself, Dine, and Red Nova convinced him while he was drunk to finally go through with it. I already let him know if he doesn't go through with it, he'll be holding a block. So he better go through with it. I won't have nothing else to say to that fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, like, don't th don't tease me for five years. And, oh, you know, fuck, you know, it is nearly five years since the Adventure One race. He's been teasing it since I became a fan, and I became a fan in 24. Either way, I'm looking forward to the race now, because I know I can beat it in just over two hours, maybe even under two hours, if I'm fast enough. Has anyone else signed up? or? Oh yeah, uh, well obviously Gold's in everything he does. Uh, Nova actually asked me to save him a spot if I did pick it. Uh, Dino probably there, and I think SG's also jumped in for it as well. <laughs> Where's Devon? <laughs> He's trying to avoid the game DQ. The DQ. Uh, unfortunately, even if he hits me, there's no DQ in these matches. So. Oh really? Uh, I think you actually have to use a. Maybe put them through a table or something in order to get disqualified. I'm not sure. If I jump in that race, at least I know there I won't go. get last. <laughs> oh god no. <laughs> and a knockout. <laughs> Yeah, as I said before, leaving Knockout on, it's just, I think the matches are just uh, tend to go a bit faster if you leave uh, KO on on these games. Right. They're way too fast, because trying to overpower an opponent, it takes a while. The game's already, the level P's already long enough in 25 parts, I want to make it go even longer. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That's what I was feeling like towards the end of my run with Goldberg, and here comes the pain. Even though they were singles matches and Goldberg's designed to run through people in less than five minutes. Man, some of those matches were carrying on seven, eight, ten minutes, man. Cause these and it wasn't even like hard opponents. I was getting like the 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 jobbers and they were still trying to kill us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which one did you say <sighs> that was? Here comes the pain? Yes sir. Oh. And I got another fucking main event with Kane. Jeez. Wonderful. Not counting Here Comes the Pain or uh, No Mercy. What's your favorite wrestling game, guys? I mean, I've played a few wrestling games, but I'm like, you know, not like into it. Like, I mean, the last wrestling game I've played was SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't really have a favorite, I, it's not like I go back and really play the old ones for anything other than Let's Plays, but I generally tend to enjoy anything really when it comes to wrestling, like the 2K games, I always enjoy them when I play them. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't give you a favorite wrestling game just because I don't think it's like something I, it's not really like a series I'll go back to and play in my spare time and stuff. Uh, for me, it's pretty easy. SmackDown vs. Raw 09 featuring CM Punk's Straight Edge story and D Triple H and Sean DX. It, it's a wonderful I actually wow. haven't played 2009. I know, you skipped it because you thought it was going to be like 08 and 08 was trash. So. And, like I said, actually 08 was I think the only wrestling game I've ever took back to the fucking store before. Oh, I took that motherfucker back too. <laughs> I, I, I just completely <laughs> skipped over 09, so whatever. Uh, 2010 was the better game, but like I said, I, I'm i stuck on 09 only because that is honestly what made me love CM Punk. Before I even saw him on TV, 
I played him in the video game first. That's what made me love him. But now, as we know, it's just, yeah, there's just better people in WWE now. Although I, although I would still fucking come like a fucking teenager if he, if Cult of Personality just played on Raw or something. I mean, if AEW can actually talk him into going over there, there's a chance, but... I think he's actually way. quite. I think he's actually quite happy just doing the UFC thing or whatever it is he's doing at the moment. So I don't think he's actually in any rush to get back into wrestling. Sadly, uh, he's very likely not going to wrestle, but he'll very likely work for a wrestling company. Especially, he's friends with the Young Bucks and all them folks. True. It's no secret. So we could see anything. You can see anything. Anything is possible well, in the AEW. <laughs> Except for him getting in the ring, I, I believe that that ship has sailed. I think he'll do. Well, I think he'll do any... one more match. Uh, uh, not not so sure. You, but we'll I, not in WWE, obviously. But I do think he'll do one more match somewhere, and then he'll officially, you know, call it quits at that point. Meh. Uh, it's a shame that fucking AJ Lee bowed out so quickly as well, because she was actually a really good wrestler. Especially yeah, for it's her time another, period. It's yeah. another woman that should be in the Hall of Fame, but she ain't. Instead, oh, she'll they never go in. And, yeah, they got Sonny up in there, <laughs> but they won't put AJ in there, even though AJ is partially responsible for the actual original Divas Evolution. Yeah. In my opinion. Her <laughs> page in to a leather extent, Caitlin, were actually free really entertaining newcomers to watch when they were around. I loved Caitlyn, man. I used to have a big old crush on her, too. I don't even know why. Just the the goofy face with the fat ass. I don't know. It just did something <laughs> to it. He just likes thick things. Yes, I do, and There's I would still smash Nia Jax. I didn't even say, I didn't say like anything. Her. I never said a word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with what he likes. No. <laughs> He can like yeah, the big old no granny kitties. <laughs> you have no problem laughing at me when I say stupid shit. Oh, God, no. <laughs> By the way, we got about five seconds left, so thank you for watching. We'll see you next part. Signing Bye, guys.